I'm a fan, uh, unashamedly so, uh, but also away from the typewriter or the computers it became, um, he was great company. And you knew when you went into a bar and saw Hugh McIlvaney standing at the counter, you were in for a very stimulating evening. If football's a game of opinion. I mean, that's, it's a game of many things, but above all, it's a game of opinion. But if your opinion happens to coincide with McIlvaney on anything, you relax and are reassured. To me, as a writer of opinion and authority, he remained right at the top, having done it, as I say, throughout my whole lifetime. You know, when Hugh writes and he describes, you know, any of the, not just the athletes, but the occasions and whether it's the weather involved or, you know, the, the emotions going through it, it's very visceral. And I think that that reality is opened up to you as a reader. And as a, as a wannabe athlete or wannabe champion, that's all you need. What makes him so good? I've never worked with anyone who cares so much about the quality and honesty of his work. The agonies he puts himself through when wrestling with a piece are truly painful to witness. Every comma has to be in the right place. Every fact has to be checked. And of course, Hugh will admit himself that he enjoyed working in, in the very best period for sports writers, when you could enjoy year after year of meaningful access to true sporting giants. It's fantastic, isn't it, that he gets this Lifetime Achievement yeah. Award on this uh, prestigious night and stage for Hugh. It's nice to be recognised and uh, I'm quite sure he'll have a bit of a swagger about him as though it's no big deal, this is what I do. Uh, but uh, good on him, good on him. Hi Hugh, I'm sure you recognise where I am right now. A place you've been many times and went to some great events and maybe not so great events uh, with the Scottish Connection. With Dave Mackay, who I believe was the greatest ever. Um, I'm sorry I can't be with you tonight. I'd love to have been there to share your night with your family and your friends. Um, but please have a glass of red for me. Make sure you have a great night and I'll see you soon, I hope. I first met Hugh in 66 when I joined the paper. I got to know him better when I became deputy editor in 69 and then even better as editor from 75. So we have known each other pretty well 50 years now. And I, I, I'm proud to, to regard him as a friend. I think he looks back on his career, what he will hope to have achieved is to illuminate the sport that people were watching and make them understand what they're watching better and to educate sports viewers and, and uh, readers in the details of their sport in the way that he has. A great writer is a great writer. Huey uh, used to write so many things where, where all of us, I think I could speak for all of us, would say, damn, I, I wish I thought of that. So he, he won Journalist of the Year because he was that year and other years as well the best journalist in the business, not simply the best sports journalist in the business.